Hey, Polka coming to you from my shave den here in Washington, Iowa. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, fresh off of the uh, Chicago meetup, had a ball there. Met a lot of great people. Um, Ray Pope, uh, Adam Baskin, Rico's, uh, Douglas Smythe, Chris Cullen, uh, the inspector, David Fernicola, John Perry, Arlie Canterbury. Just, I, I could go on and on, and it was fantastic. Not a bad not a bad apple in the bunch all good guys um so i decided i'd go ahead and share a shave with you and today i'm going to share with you an epic mail call that i got today had to change up my plan shave i was going to use spike this morning for the first time but uh this one came in the mail and i've got to do it uh katie's bubbles water liptus and this stuff just it has a fantastic scent um, you got the watermelon along with uh, eucalyptus and peppermint, and it's fantastic. Uh, so today um, I'm going to be shaving with my uh, Waston Holm pipe razor, and this is a medium hollow is what they call it. It's got a nice medium hollow grind there, if you can see. A uh, nice old razor. I really like this. I'm on the fence. I'm debating on whether or not to rescale this thing. Let me know your opinions. You can see that uh, the lettering, the gold, is kind of gone. Um, and I've got some, uh, some horn material, some blonde horn material on the way. So I'm thinking maybe use the original lead wedge with some blonde horn material. Uh, let me know. Chime in. Um, okay, without any further ado... I'm going to wet my face with the bloom water. The water's running just so I can rinse my hands off. Man, this stuff smells great. And I fully expect the performance to be nothing short of excellent with Chris's products. Nice guy. Mr. Cullen's a good guy. Another guy I forgot to mention is Alan Boyd, another great guy. He and I had some really good conversation sitting at Poor Phil's in Oak Park. Okay, today I'm going to use my uh, Marting Custom Silver Tip and we'll get to loading this brush. It just doesn't take much. This thing's loaded already. I mean, when you bloom a Katie's Bubble Soap, it just doesn't take much to load it up. I'll get a little bit of hot water just dripping here so I can add. I'm sure I'll need to. Oh, let me, let me switch my lighting around a little bit here. There, that should be a little better for you guys. Soap's a little bit thirsty. You know, you guys got to try this out. This is fantastic soap. Really a nice scent. Ray Pope was just kind of telling me about it and how much he really enjoyed it. So kind of on his recommendation, I, I pulled the trigger. And I'm glad I did. I don't have too many soap purchase re regrets, though, actually. Let me dry my hands off here. And warm the blade. And here we go.
nice and slick gliding right through it this medium hollow grind is not real audible but it's it's cutting nicely uh, you can hear it a little bit there i don't know if you're picking it up Fantastic so far. It's got this nice menthol to it. Or maybe it's the peppermint, but it's, it's really nice. So anyway, we had an awesome time in Chicago. Uh, got in on Friday and <clears throat> picked Adam Baskin up at the uh, the airport midway there. Um, we were roomies. Uh, cut down on the cost for both of us for the hotel. And uh, then we kind of hung out at uh, Poor Phil's, which is a sports bar that is kind of attached to the the Carlton in, in Oak Park there. Very nice hotel, by the way. Um, so we kind of hung out there and waited as people kind of filtered in and arrived. Um, and ended up going to uh, Lou Malnati's for some traditional Chicago deep dish pizza. And I'm generally not a deep dish guy, but this was different. You know, it. I like a thin and crispy crust. But this was a thick and crispy crust. It was absolutely fantastic. And I, I tell you, it was just a well-balanced pie. Uh, the, the seasoning and the sauce and everything was just great. Really enjoyed it. There was had a lot of had a lot of good uh, fun banter and talk amongst friends. And Amanda Stott and her husband were there. They were really nice people. Um, she introduced a couple of soaps that evening. Uh, I think Ray Pope picked one up. She didn't have a, a lot of them, and so there was a lucky few guys that got them. But it was just a good time. Good time. And now uh, we're getting ready for pass number two here. All right. Stubborn little patch of hair right there. Oh, I took it right off.
I know I shave pretty slow, guys, so try to bear with me. Hopefully you'll stick it out. I'm trying not to be as boring and make a little bit more small talk. I'm a little bit of a low-key guy until the sauce gets to flowing. As some of you may know. Try not to cut that area. I got cocky in one of my videos and said I had it whooped. And here the last couple, three times I shaved, I cut myself. <laughs> What do you do? Just practice. Every day you get better at it. I find that through here, the getting the angle right is what gives you the best shave. Nice shallow angle. Okay, pass number two in the books. And it appears as though this shave is going really well. I really like this peppermint slash menthol feel. It's different than menthol for me, though. Um, okay, it's eucalyptus. That's what it is. Fantastic. It's a great ingredient. Love it. And as you see, I tend to keep my brush fairly dry and use just the amount of water that I need. I always add just a little bit during each pass and I'm able to control my lather pretty well. It's very seldom do I run run into a, a bad lather this way. It works for me. Your mileage may vary but it, it, it works for me. Really enjoy this Matthew Marting brush. He's been selling a bunch of those things on his mass postings. I would recommend picking one up. They're they're just a great bang for the buck. Excellent, uh, excellent brush. Not the hugest amount of backbone, but it's it's like a big old fluffy pillow on your face. I mean, just very nice, luxurious brush. And uh, this time I'm going to get the back of my neck won't be using the straight for that I'll be using my Phoenix double open comb for that and it doesn't take much time to just knock that off and I've got a Gillette seven o'clock super stainless green um, Russian blade in here uh, for DE's that's the blade that seems to work best for me One side kind of go by feel here you know I'm gradually 
uh, piffing my uh, DEs. I've got friends that I'm trying to get involved with this stuff, but you know I'm going to keep this one. I like it. Uh, this dual open comb, and I put oh a Razor Rock slab handle on it. it. Gives it a little bit more weight. And I just really enjoy it for a DE. It's it's a nice nice DE. We'll put it back here. All right, let's get the real blade out. Watching a lot of videos and a lot of people are really stressing the skin stretching and I can't agree more. It really is kind of the key. That with angle, blade angle, for getting a nice clean shave. And don't forget that the whole blade cuts. Don't concentrate on just the area you're using. Watch where that other end is because you could take a nice little slice in your earlobe or something. Ask me how I know. Okay, there we have it. That's my uh, final pass. I'll clean the blade off here. Got to take care of these old razors. You don't want to promote any kind of rust. I mean, look at that. Lost at home pipe razor. Just a sweet old blade. I don't know how old it is. I've I estimate late 1800s. I may be wrong. If you if you know I'm wrong, chime in and let me know. That kind of stuff fascinates me a bit. So, I'll get my washcloth and rinse my face off here. Well, Mr. Cullen, you really nailed it with this one. It's a nice, nice soap. I really like it. This may be right at the top of my summertime list. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the accompanying facial toner. Shake it up a little bit here. Ah, 
nice stuff. Okay, well guys, that's my shave and my little wrap up of the Chicago meetup. I gotta say, for all you guys that I met out there, fantastic people. Um, you were very nice to me. Um, everybody was very generous. Uh, the artisans were awesome. Uh, Douglas Smythe, really cool to meet you. You were a great guy. Amanda Stott, really nice. And Chris Cullen, you're the man. All right guys, uh, Dave Polka from my shave den here in Washington, Iowa, signing out. Uh, happy shaving, gents. Bye.